So this is a 2024 GCE question. It says in the diagram, PQRS are points on the circle with center O. And angle PQR is 68, while the other angle has also been given, TRU is a tangent. All right? At R. So we can clear that there's a tangent there at R. Okay? So now, find POR, find PSR, and find PRO. So let me just enlarge this diagram a bit so that you see what is actually happening here. So, POR is this, POR is this angle here which they are looking for. So how do we find uh, that particular angle? What you need to know that the angle at the center is always twice the angle at the circumference. So what am I saying? If this is a circle, all right, then I have, let's say, a cyclic quadrato, let's say maybe there are another angle like just the, the way it is. Same way it is. This angle here is twice that angle there. That's what I'm trying to say. So now, look at this. If this angle here is twice this angle Q here, so that we are saying that is 2Q. What is angle Q? Alright, so angle Q is just 68. So we are saying this one is just equal to twice angle 68. Remember that you do not have a calculator here, so I expect you to use your own mathematics knowledge. Be able to give you. Do not forget degrees, right? So you end up having that. So let us record it here. 136 degrees. That is for A. Then let's go for B. Alright, so we found that this one is actually 136. We found that it is 136. So now let's go to B. B says PSR. P S R this angle here. Again, let's go back. In a cyclic quadrato. If you have got A, B, C, and D, it's as long as it's cyclic quadrato, like this one is a cyclic quadrato. You can say it's a cyclic quadrato, right? Uh -huh. This means that this angle plus this angle should always give us 180. Alright? So what are we saying? We are saying A plus it should give us 180 degrees. The same thing applies to B and D. When you add them, it should give you 180. So going back to our equation, we have 68 degrees plus S. It should give us what? 180 degrees. So S, which is angle S, is just equal to 180 degrees minus 68 what? Uh, uh, degrees. So 180 minus 68. I'm getting 112 degrees. So I'm getting 1120 as the S angle. So this angle here is 112 degrees. So we come here and record it nicely. 112 degrees. Don't forget to record whatever that you are finding. Alright, then we go to C. C says P R O. P R O. So P R O. Let me just enlarge it. So P, R, O is this angle here. But I want to just take you back a little bit. Let, let's go. Let's let draw it. This is the center, right? And then we have this radius and that radius. Then we have this triangle. You understand? Do you, you you know that this distance and that distance they are the same, right? Because they are all coming from the center. That's where the concept is coming from. This means these guys, they are forming an isosceles triangle, all right? So this triangle being formed is an isosceles what, triangle. And because it's, it is an isosceles triangle, what are the properties of an isosceles triangle? The angles, they are the same, those bottom angles. That means once we know any of these angles, we would have answered our, our question there. So how are we going to do it? So let me just get rid of this part so that we find the space for working out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So step one, we are going to add, we, 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 we know that all angles in a triangle, they add up to 180, right? 
So this is angle P and that is angle R. So we can just call them X and here call it X because we are saying they are the same. Because this distance and that distance they are the same. Alright. So we are saying 136 degrees plus X again plus X is equal to 180. So this will be 2X is equal to 180 degrees minus 136 degrees. So now, what I get when we subtract? 44 degrees. So dividing by 2 throughout, you get x as 22 degrees. Now what did we say x is? x is the same angle here, here. So that is this angle is just 22 degrees. We put 22 degrees. This was the simplest question in this paper. If not one, of, yeah, let me say one of the simplest circle theorem question that you can find. All right, it was very, it was very fair, and these guys were very much lenient. You should be finding challenges when it comes to circle theorem. Don't fear it. it. This question depends on theorems. If you know those theorems, the basic ones, you'll be well. Don't fear. All right.